I'm America's Digital Pro, Kim Commando, and welcome to Commando On Demand. This is a podcast that provides in-depth insight on the ever-changing world of technology and the impact that it has on our daily lives. You're going to hear from tech industry experts, movers and shakers. And in this podcast, we're going to kick off football season by helping you cut the cord to cable and save some money. Now, if you're waiting for cable subscription prices to go down so you can sign up for football season, uh, don't hold your breath. You're still looking at around $50 to $100 a month. But technology is definitely changing. You can pocket that money that you would have spent on cable and get movies, TV shows, and yes, even football, believe it or not, streamed directly to you. Most of these were a fraction of the cost too, by the way. And I'm gonna help you decide which streaming service is gonna work best for you. Now I have to tell you, there are tons of streaming services popping up all over but I've got the inside scoop on which ones really deliver. So relax, this is a no brainer. Don't stress about not being able to afford your football games. Don't worry about not having enough movies this fall either, because I've got you covered from goalpost to goalpost. But first, a special thank you to one of our great sponsors who helped make this podcast possible. There are so many things to consider when you're shopping for a video streaming service. How much will it all cost? What movies can I get? Do they have my favorite shows? Are they reruns or are they current? But what about A&E and Fox News, HGTV, or whatever channel that you like? Does it come with an app? And one of the most popular questions that I get time and time again is, can I get my football? And the list goes on and on. So let's break it down. There are three big players right now, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and Hulu. Unlike network and public TV, which have a lot of free streaming content, these are of course paid services. They have huge catalogs, original programs, lists by topic, and they have a lot of recommendations. All of these services have definitely earned their stripes. So which service is best for you? Let's start with football access. And who better to talk sports than with my friend and call screener, Andrew Bobinski. And Andrew's here with me in the studio right now. So Andrew, what do you think? You know that I'm a big football fan and I'm just ready to rumble. I am ready. The football season is days away. I've been only waiting since the Super Bowl for this to happen. So let's go. Let's do this. I probably shouldn't even need to ask this, but just in case you've changed over the last 15 years, who are you going for this year in terms of football? The Cardinals, of course. I'm a diehard Cardinal fan. That's right. You probably have the biggest collection of Cardinal swag that I know. Love the hat, by the way. And I also like that you get a new one every year because that last one, ugh, it was dirty, bud. Okay, I want you to put on your crystal ball. Who's your pick this year for the Super Bowl? I am picking a Falcons-Texans Super Bowl with Atlanta win because I'm a realistic Cardinals fan. Oh, come on, Andrew. Did you really just say that? Let's just pretend that you didn't, okay? Because you are totally embarrassing yourself. But you know what's frustrating? If you ever Google best sports streaming services, oh my gosh, a million different reviews come up. Most of them are written by paid writers, of course, so it's hard to tell which ones are legit. So help us out here today, Andrew, because you stream sports and a lot of it, right? Yes. Let's cut to the chase. Which services are you using now? Well, when it comes to football, it's basically about Verizon. I'm a Verizon customer, so for $2 a month, I get the NFL Red Zone channel, and then as part of my subscription, so I guess you could consider it free because I pay for my phone, I get all the primetime games. Thursday night football, Sunday night football, Monday night football, I have everything covered, and it's on my phone. Okay, that's good to know, but Hulu is starting to make a name for themselves in sports. In fact, PureVPN called them one of the most reliable sports streaming sites on their list. I mean, that's gotta count for something. Plus, if you bundle Hulu with live TV, you can then get all the pro games and all the college games. I've seen Hulu's live TV. If you don't link it up with the live television, it all depends on the market that you're in and whether or not you're gonna get the network that airs football. The NFL has a contract with CBS, NBC, and Fox, so if Hulu says, we don't have Fox in your network, you're not gonna get the NFC games. So it is limited, it isn't everything. But if you're on a budget, the NFL has something that they call Game Pass. 
from what I understand, this lets you watch games for around 100 bucks for the whole season. But the catch is, yes, there's a catch. You don't get to watch the game until the official broadcast ends. So if you don't mind being the last to know, I guess it would be okay. It's impossible. It's impossible for a football fan to go an entire Sunday and not find out the score. It'd be nice if you wanted to rewatch a game you missed that was out of market or, you know, you want to see the Browns' big comeback against the Patriots. But there's no way I'm waiting until Monday morning to watch my Cardinal. Actually, you don't have to wait until Monday. You only have to wait for an hour. But moving on. Do you remember how CBS couldn't stream all the games? That's changed. If you sign up for CBS All Access through Prime, you can get all the NFL games for only $5.99 a month or around $10 a month without the commercials. That sounds like a pretty good deal. That is a good deal. Six bucks a month is pretty affordable. But again, not one service has everything. They're missing out on ESPN. ESPN is what carries Monday Night Football. So again, you'd have to find some other streaming source if you want to get every single game that's available. But Andrew, have you ever tried those free sports streaming sites? I know most of them don't have official streams, so the quality is pretty bad. And then there's also those annoying pop-up ads. I haven't stooped that low. I mean, I'm sure if I was in the middle of the woods or something and I got really desperate, I didn't have a phone signal, I'd be able to try them out, but I haven't tried them yet. Okay, what about the free games on ESPN? From what I understand, it's kind of hit or miss, but if you're strapped for cash, that's one way to go. If cost is the number one thing to you, if if you're cutting the cord and it's all about free, then just get an antenna. You're going to get every single game on Sunday. You're going to get one in the morning, two in the afternoon, and the nighttime game on NBC. That's four football games, and for some football fans, that's enough. Um, Andrew, didn't you forget something? Help the family. What kind of antenna are you going to use? Well, of course, the antenna I use in my home is the Commando.com Kim Commando indoor-outdoor antenna. Thank you, Kim. Hey, don't mention it. You get to keep your job with us yet one more day. (laughs) Kidding. You know that. I love you. All right, let's talk about Sling. Sling's getting more and more popular with its Choose Your Bundle options. It's kind of confusing at first, but basically for the whole fall sports shebang, I'm talking about NBC, ESPN, Fox. You're looking at about $40 a month. Now, if you just want Monday night football, it's around $20. If you want Thursday nights, it's about $25. Not a bad deal. Plus, you can mix and match so you can totally customize that plan. But what do you think about that, Andrew? It's kind of cool. It is. I tried the streaming services. I watched it streaming on my Xbox. I wasn't a fan. I did not think the quality was good enough for that kind of money. For that kind of money, you could go get a basic cable package and add one sports tier, and you're going to be around the same price. So what's the point? You're not even cutting the cord. Mm, Yeah, I get that. The problem with the streaming services is no one has everything. And Amazon has had success streaming Thursday Night Football. They are seeing a response. So I hope since Amazon is so big at one point they'll be able to work out a deal with everybody where you can pay a low $20 a month or just part of your Amazon Prime subscription and we can get everything through Amazon. It's the most reliable. It's a big company and it's working right now for Thursday Night Football. Okay as far as word of mouth goes I totally trust you Andrew because you are the football guy's football guy if you get my drift. I mean We have made jokes about it for years that the only reason why I know what a tight end is is because I, well, I think they're so incredibly good looking. And as Andrew likes to say, the most wasted ticket in all of Super Bowl history was the one that I used. I actually had a good time. Okay, I was rooting for both sides. I really don't understand what the problem is. Hey, Andrew, always good to see you. Thanks, Kim. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to dig deeper now into the streaming services. What exactly do the services offer? Which ones are worth the money? Which streaming services have what you want to watch? So stay right where you are. But first, a quick message from one of our great sponsors. All right, let's go back to what Andrew said about Verizon. Here's the deal. The NFL app is free. But Verizon subscribers are the only ones who will benefit from everything it offers. 
Basically, the app gives Verizon customers on-demand NFL coverage and live access to the NFL network through their mobile phone. The app is actually split into a whole bunch of sections. There's stories, games, watch, teams, and more. I really want to talk about the Watch tab because that's where you can watch live football. The first video that pops up on the screen is the live stream, but there's a lot more to do with this app. Let's say you want to see game highlights or maybe some forecasts for upcoming games, amazing plays, maybe just videos that have to deal with specific teams, stuff like that. You can browse all of that without interrupting your live stream. Just swipe the video into a small section on the lower corner of the screen and just browse away. You can watch other videos, look at current stats, connect with NFL Game Pass. Hey, if you really want to, you can shop for some NFL swag. So if you're out in the field, you don't have to go far to get that total football fix. NFL is available at the iOS App Store and Google Play for Android. All right, we're going to dig deeper now into streaming services. If you don't have the time to do the research, no worries. I've done it for you. First up is a streaming service that we all know about, Netflix. It's the king of the hill when it comes to on-demand videos. It's evolved from, I don't know if you remember, the DVD mailing company that it was into this popular digital icon, turning out tons of buzzworthy original content, TV shows, documentaries, and movies. Marvel superheroes TV show fans especially love, love, love Netflix. And talk about easy access. You can stream it on just about any device, including Amazon's new Fire TV Cube. And if you love to collect movies, Netflix is letting its users download away. It hasn't always been that way, but you can now stack your device with cool movies and shows. Even the Netflix original series like Glow and Stranger Things are up for grabs. And Netflix has the second season of American Vandal, Marvel's Kung Fu superhero series, Iron Fist. They also offer a premiere of the limited series Maniac, an original comedy called Napoli Ever After. If you love musicals, get ready for the musical documentary Quincy. Marvel's Black Panther and Disney's A Wrinkle in Time are on the roster. And if zombies are your thing, hey, The Walking Dead, it's also dragging itself your way. Did you get that? All right, Netflix doesn't keep secrets when it comes to price. They charge $10.99 a month for HD streaming. If you're only gonna subscribe to one streaming service, this is probably your best bet. The downside to consider, well, Netflix is under fire for removing user reviews from its website. And the main complaint customers are posting on Trustpilot have to do with their sometimes negligent customer service. I sometimes feel that the only movies I can find on Netflix are the ones that I've already seen. But I have to tell you about this really tremendous website. I use it a couple of times a week, it's just crazy. You probably know that some movies cost more to stream at one place than another place. And then you've got movies that are included in your membership and maybe not in this membership. So there's this really great online tool. You can actually find out in advance how much a movie is going to cost to stream or if it's free somewhere else by going to justwatch.com. You just type in the title of whatever you want to watch. And then justwatch.com does all the heavy lifting for you. It'll tell you where to find the movie or the show or the documentary, how much it costs, if anything, on all the various different services. They have a new tab, a popular tab. You can limit by just TV shows and movies too. Again, the website, justwatch.com. If you want more info about how it works, head over to commando.com. All right, Amazon Prime Video. I feel like I should have some big music behind me on that. Is one big perk for avid streamers. For just under $10 a month, not only does it offer original exclusive shows, it can actually connect you to this whole universe of Amazon products like the Echo. If you're a movie buff, you can purchase films and series bundles or add entire networks like HBO and Showtime. Yes, a website has actually won an Academy Award. Amazon Studios is now this entertainment force to be reckoned with. They've come a long way than just selling books online. I mean, just listen to a few of these new cool fall releases. There's All or Nothing, Manchester City, or Agatha Christie for mystery buffs. And I'll tell you what I've been watching on Amazon Prime that's really good. It's Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. You ought to check that one out. If you like curling up on the couch watching old movies, Prime has the classics like The Blair Witch Project and Watchmen, also a Cinderella story and Spy Kids 2. In July, they added American Psycho, Mulholland Drive and The Twilight Saga, 
to their long list of new additions. Now, if you get overwhelmed by choices, they have an app to help you choose. So if you don't mind a lump investment, Amazon Prime Video makes sense, especially if you're gonna take advantage of all the other Prime membership advantages like shipping and photo storage and music. If you shop amazon.com, Prime is a great deal. And by the way, over at commando.com, we've got some tips on how you can get Amazon Prime for less. Just head over to commando.com. You're gonna find a ton of money-saving Prime perks that you probably never knew about before now. Hulu has been making steady progress in attracting subscribers. It may have something to do with that $7.99 a month price tag for the basic plan. Now I have to tell you, Hulu isn't as big as Netflix, but it has steadily moved into making original TV shows. Like for example, they had the Stephen King based series called Castle Rock. That was pretty good. As the weather gets cooler, Hulu's viewing choices do as well. Tons of great stuff to choose from. You've got some well-made classics like Black Hawk Down, The Elephant Man, The Hurt Locker, Point Break, The Usual Suspects, Babe. Oh my gosh, I love that movie, Babe, which is why I haven't eaten pork since, but that's a whole nother story. They have current ones too, like Perfect Bid, Desolation, Terminal. The Beatles made on the Mercy side's pretty good. Also, A Conspiracy to Rule the Illuminati. And for the month of October, don't forget, Halloween H2O. If you like that sort of thing with a subscription, you can also download the content over at HBO. And talk about sports. Hulu has connections to ESPN, BTN, ABC, Fox, and more. It's one of the best up-and-coming sites to stream the action. To see for yourself, just get a free trial for a few weeks. Even though Hulu doubled its losses since Q2 of last year, there's promising news on the horizon. You see, Hulu has some pretty rich parents. Disney, Comcast, NBC Universal, 21st Century Fox, Warner Media, AT&T, list goes on. They're all pumping in more money to the tune of, cha-ching, $1.5 billion. So I bet you big things are in store. And one thing I want to add is that the $7.99 plan, it comes with commercials. And if you want to get rid of them, you have to pay an extra four bucks a month, which isn't so bad. Of course, Hulu has its own app, and the recent update I will tell you is kind of buggy, but I'm hoping that they're gonna straighten all that out. Okay, how would you like to just pay for what you actually watch? That's an option, and it may take a little voodoo to get your wish. No, not voodoo magic, silly. That's not a text subject. I'm talking about V-U-D-U, Voodoo Streaming Services. I guess you'd say the dark horse of the streaming world. It doesn't act like the others. In fact, it operates more like iTunes. You pay per program, rentals are cheap, starting at just under a buck, and the best news for the budget crunchers, are you ready? No monthly fees, that's right. Walmart owns Voodoo, and so they claim to have access to movies even before Netflix and Redbox. Okay, case in point, they have Ocean's 8, Avengers Infinity Wars, Action Point, American Animals, the zombie flick Patient Zero. Even movies that are still in theaters like Along Came the Devil, Elizabeth Hardivist, they are streamable through Vudu. Now, if you like free, as in totally free flicks, Vudu has them. Of course, you have to watch the ads, but it's really hard to beat the price. Vudu won't take the place of a service like Netflix, but it may appeal to you if you're looking for an a la carte alternative. It doesn't cost anything to browse. You can always pick and choose what you pay for. So which service is the best one for you? Okay, it's really hard to say. Like Andrew said, nobody has everything. There are pros and cons to each service. That's why some people subscribe to more than one streaming service. For shipping and other perks, they have Amazon Prime. Maybe they go to Netflix for some more programming. Or maybe like me, you went to Hulu just for The Handmaid's Tale and after the season was over, you cancel it. Voodoo is good for one particular hit that you can't get anywhere else. But here's the deal. The magical number is three. If you subscribe to three different streaming services, it'll probably still cost you less than cable. Once you go over three, you better sit at the kitchen counter and start doing the math. Now, if you still can't decide which service to get, you'd rather see it all laid out in front of you. I've created a totally interactive streaming service chart. You can search for it on my website. It's under the read button. And if you want comparison, you got it. Over 170 channels. 
You can just search for your favorite shows, find the service that has exactly what you want, and you're good to go. And that's the type of content that you can always depend on from all of us over at commando.com because we give you that in-depth insight on this ever-changing technology landscape. Now, the best way to keep up with the changes is to subscribe to my podcast. They're always hands down a great way to stay informed when you're on the go. Head over to podcastk.com. You see all of our podcasts and subscribe to not only this, Commando On Demand, but also don't forget we have Tech News Today, fabulous daily podcast to keep you up to date. And Tech News This Week, so this way you never miss anything. Again, check it out over on iTunes, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts, or we have a dedicated site, podcast with the letter K.com.